I say, whoa, now that is your boy, the Toothless Wonder. Back again, right back at you with another demonstration. And I'm, I'm on the bamboozler's ass today. And I know a few in real life. And when I see these people in real life, all that shit they get. Now, I don't come off on that energy. But all like that, that slicky woo-woo type talk. They don't do that around me because they know I'm, a, I'm like my reaction. Well, not even outwardly. My energy and how I'm looking. Everybody else who's listening is like, well, he know that we don't. Why he looking like that? And why the man who's speaking ain't saying nothing to him? Not knowing, I know him. You know what I'm saying? When, 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 light, when light is present, darkness got to flee. And uh, I just left the gym, right? And y'all about to see me smoke a cigarette. I know, I know. Pray for me, right? So, you know, sometimes, like, you put, like, I guess I was fumbling around on YouTube or doing something. Or not Facebook. And then whereas though, when I put the phone in my pocket, it had clicked on a Facebook story of a female that I know. Um, and I guess it was a clip of the Yada Awakening dude. These conscious bamboozlers. And in the 51 minute clip that I heard by accident, he was talking about... Uh, Oh, man, honestly, I don't even remember what that man was talking about, yo. Yeah. But it just made me remember since I'm on the conscious woke bamboozler tip today. Now, they always roll out these type of Negroes. Oh, you'll wonder why they kind of pop out of nowhere or who, what's their backstory, whoop the whoop the whoop. Almost like Charleston White, who's, I, I'll discuss him at a later date. But there's a reason why he know all the stuff he knows. My my content is more for the average everyday black man in Babylon. You see what I'm saying? What he the rhetoric he spew okay, and I've heard this talking point, right? Saying, let's say you don't make six figures you shouldn't date, right? One, I don't date. Never dated. But um you shouldn't date, you should get your money up. And I agree with that. But what he's doing is he's basically saying if you don't have a certain financial status. Right. Then you shouldn't be worthy of the presence of a black woman. He's also along the lines of the Umar where he never. Well, at least not the videos I've seen. He never tells you since he's married. What made him choose his wife? What did he see in her? What positive attributes as a female human black woman did she bring to him that enhanced his life? It's, 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 it's this new reframed tricking. I, mean, I did see one video. He was like, you know, only little boys going to ask what a woman bring to the table. If a man values himself. Then he starts to see everything from a value standpoint or lack thereof. Only an imbecile, a fool, is not going to see or only caught up with, you know, outward looks or, you know what I'm saying, trophy this, it's societal shit. Anybody, male or female, pause. I'm looking at their character. I'm looking how they treat others to give me assessment of who they are as an individual. Meaning, how close can you get to me and what kind of conversation we can have? The average in this economy, right? Everybody's not going to be rich. They don't want everybody rich. I'm not saying you can't get to that point. If whatever you define rich by. But this man makes it seem like the average. See, this is the, the, the underlying message, right? The subconscious message. That if you don't make a certain amount of money. You're not worthy of an ungrateful black woman. I seen videos where he was talking about he pays his wife a salary. She spends his money, she keep hers. I just saw a video about Gino Jenner's doing that. I don't subscribe to that school of thought. Nor would anybody in the Torah, in the New Testament, or in the Quran agree with that. The Arab man don't agree with that. And he's got greatly, and they don't have none of the issue we got. The Hispanic man don't agree with that. The Asian man don't agree with that. You see what I'm saying? Again, I keep telling y'all how these niggas be trying to shame you into staying on the plantation 
and fighting for something that ain't worth fighting for. That don't value you. So let's say hypothetically, because we all know life is unpredictable. Let's say he gets sick or anything happens and he loses his ability to make money. Is that woman still going to stay? When the money's gone, will the honey stay? Will the rain shines come back to sunny days? Hey. Or is he just another one of these Negroes leading with his pockets and attempting to lead Negroes astray? It's saying like they always roll out these different type of Negroes and then they hit the algorithm somehow, some way. They get these places and have these talking points and, and, it, and it comes out through society, through the algorithm. And then it grows legs of its own. But the shit he say, again, I tell y'all, just like the pastor, I keep getting on these niggas, man. They say all this Gucci damn shit that has no real world application. To anybody watching this video, how many niggas you know who care it like him? And if they do, ain't they getting their ass handed to them? <laughs> like, yo, these niggas make me sick, man. It, I'm biometrically opposed to these folk, man. Seriously. Is he just another Negro leading with his pockets? You know what I'm saying? And then we all know, well, if we all don't know, we all will soon see, even if you don't agree with me. Okay, let's say, well, it, they, they plan on doing this anyway. So they make everything digital, take away paper money. You know what I'm saying? Say, okay, then what? Does, does your, does your uh, talking points, do they still exist? The talking points that I have, that I got from just looking at male-female di dynamics throughout history, will stand the test of time no matter what goes on outwardly. Now these relationships always keep changing based on societal changes which keep changing. Society or what society do shouldn't change how me and my woman operate towards one another. Now we might have switch our style, you might have do this, I might have woo 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 you know what I'm saying, you follow me. But the world shouldn't affect my relationship. But that's what we see. And that's how they dupe black people into destroying our own relationship between man and woman. Just like they did in the 60s. The fact that was probably uh, a not the black family was a national security threat. And just like Umar, he doesn't. Now, some of the stuff he say about dudes, okay, cool. But let's put it in, because I'm the totality Negro. Do you teach these brothers what type of attributes or where to go to find these type of women that you can do that for? Or that you would want to do that for? No. He like, Omar, he just got you thinking. You're just supposed to do it with any pretty face you see. Do, even if you got the, the resource and the finance. Cause here, and here's why it don't apply. Because the brothers with resource and finance are going overseas. Now, they might be going over there for sex tourism. I don't subscribe to that school of thought. You see what I'm saying? Because the, the pickings are slim here. As any black man, and here's the real world eyeball test. Just walk up to a black man with a microphone asking, ask him, what's been your dating experience with a black woman? And if he's not currently with a black woman and scared of getting his ass handed to him, if, he, if, he's, if he's mindful and think about it, he's like, damn, yo, them bitches have fucked me over. I don't know. And of course, there's exception to the rule. But this is permeating society because they want it to. Just like I said about uh, uh, society influencing treatment, substance abuse, and how we look at it and treat it. Th this is like my, the thinking man's Templar saying, the sophistication of evil and how s subversive and subtle it is. And if you're not mindful, you're prone to be led astray. Because if you just take what these folks say on Facebook, it sounds good. It has to sound good for them to bamboozle you. Typically, here, here's, here's a rule of thumb. If a motherfucker say something and you don't like it or it trigger you, it's probably because he's telling you the truth. Now, I'm nowhere near that financial situation. It don't trigger me. It alerts my spidey sense to a, to a false doctrine from a false prophet. You know what I mean? And again, I believe that these arguments for the daytime are actually in totality, in the grand scheme of things, irrelevant. How come none of these woke, conscious, pan-African, 
Egyptology ass niggas telling black people what to prepare for. How come niggas can talk about now, but these niggas have no vision? Now, mind you, I ain't went to school for none of this. Three and a half years ago, I was a full-blown alcoholic. And I still had, I couldn't operate in it, but I still knew it. I, man, these niggas, it, it's no different, man. These niggas just talk this shit for finance purposes and clout. These motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. That man not telling you that shit because he want to see you take care of your woman and all that dumb ass shit. He's shaming niggas to stay on the motherfucking plantation. And he's just the next bamboozler in line. And then he's kind of different from Umar because from what I understand, he has the semblance of wealth. So, you know, how black people, you know what I'm saying, monkey see, monkey do, you know, shiny things or whatever. So, if he want to do that, then it's over with. That's crazy, yo. I'm telling you, my brother, it's a sad state of affairs out here. The real are few and far between, in between. And let's say hypothetically, right? And I know every real brother, regardless of you work in a corporate office, you uh, you work with your hands, you unemployed, you getting out of prison, you trap, used to trap. Ain't no nigga, no real nigga, with any semblance of masculinity, doing what he say do. Strip that man away. Okay, here, I got one for you. Strip him of all that. Do you still operate like that? Can you still lead? Do you still stand on them principles? You see what I'm saying? That's what you really, t- like, when you go to jail or prison or whatever, and you get stripped of everything, and then you're amongst other men, then you'll see whether it was an act or, you know what I'm saying? That shit don't apply. And that, no, that's what it was. Excuse me, y'all. That's what it was. This Bama said, uh, don't build with a man, right? Now, that didn't apply. Now, Grant's a different time. But during the 60s, they built together. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's he talking about? They built with a man? Now, I'm not of the mindset of, like, actually, I don't want to build with a woman. I already want to want to construct my situation and then vet who I want to bring into it. Because I've been so bamboozled by help, I don't even want no more help, yo. Now, of course, that's not reality. But when I have needed help, the help presented itself. Praise to the most high, right? But I'm not looking for that. And I, really, and I get him on this point. Like, I really don't have time. Because I'm preparing for shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like the ant prepares for winter. You know what I mean? But that's what the Bama, that's what that Yankee said. He said, uh, uh, ladies, don't build with a man, which means don't get with the average everyday brother that you see some potential in. Because if you build him up or you pour into his vision or whatever the case may be, he's going to leave you for another woman. That's not real. Hey, as, as, as starved as niggas is for a show enough ride or die. And I ain't talking about the pookie Ray Ray who's just trying to get over and manipulate. I'm talking about he at wherever he at with it. He meets you. You see whatever in him. And you support him. Ain't no real man as, as deprived and as scarce as that is. From what I see in society. Ain't no man. Man, he mess around and try to harness the whole motherfucking universe and give it to you. Because he not used to it. So if he get that, he going to hold on to it. That's not to say. Now, I don't believe in this either. In the quote unquote cheating. The only way I would cheat is if I seen a woman with wifely attributes. I would then tell, like, I would then bring her in, meet my wife, y'all get along, and then I build my legacy like that. But I'm not just cheating for sex, because then that might destroy, but that's just me, though. And my wife gonna have to be alright with it. While at the same time, I do care how she feel, and I will take that into consideration. But again, I'm on the building tip. And then let's say, in that respect, if every man take one woman, then there are going to be a bunch of women left out in the cold. Here's what's tripping about that argument. Now, a woman, now we see it all day every day, will sleep with a married man, right, because of the, the sneakiness or I took her man or I'm a better woman or whatever, right? But they won't work together in a polygynous, 
I think that's the right word, polygynous relationship where everybody's on the same accord. But here in Babylon, where everything flipped upside down, more often times than not, your wife got multiple boyfriends. Man, I despise these niggas, man. It's crazy, yo. What's wrong with them, man? And these niggas everywhere, just, just spewing falsehoods. It's so crazy. Motherfucker will take what he says the truth, apply, and it don't work. I'll tell you the truth and be and just totally disregard. You know what I'm saying? When I have no other motive for telling you the truth other than telling you the truth. You know what I'm saying? Man, on that, man, I'm going to holler at y'all, man.